Hello and welcome to my science tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be talking about ethylene. Ethylene as in plant hormones, as in plant hormone. We have looked at um, other plant hormones and we said ethylene is one of the inhibitors, growth inhibitors in phytohormones. It has a chemical formula C2. It's four, it's four. And because it is a gas, it is, it is it diffuses it diffuses through the cells and the tissues and sometimes it even gets to adjacent and plants that are closer to them. Now the precursor for ethylene is known as ACC. So let me put that here. Precursor. Precursor is known as a C C. So what is A C C? A C C. A C C is a one amino cyclopropane. Okay, let me write that here. One amino cyclo cyclopropane one. Carboxylic acid one carboxylic one amino cyclopropane one carboxylic acid. Okay. And this is C actually get transported through the xylem to other places in the plant, other places in the plant. Now, um, we have to know that ethylene is an amino acid derivative and um, it is gotten from the amino acid known as methionine. So let's see. Known as methionine. This synthesis of ethylene actually goes through a series of synthetic steps and um, okay, let me put that down here. So we have this methionine. Methionine which gets converted into um, ACC that is we're talking about the limiting steps. So we have the Methionine gets converted to ACC and that is being catalyzed by the enzyme known as ACC synthase. ACC. And then what didn't happen? This ACC synthase is now converted to ethylene. This is driven by the enzyme known as ACC oxidase. And it's the presence of oxygen molecule. So now what actually happens when we have oxygen? What is the function of um, uh, did I just say oxygen? Sorry, ethylene. What is the function of ethylene or what is the effect of having ethylene produced? So let's see effects. The first effect we're going to talk about is the ability to inhibit cell expansion. So let's put that here. So the first one is the ability to inhibit cell expansion. And how does it do that? The first thing we we'll talk about is what is referred to as triple response. This is one effect of oxygen to give rise to um, short fat shoots, short fat shoots, and uh, also increase lateral growth, lateral root growth. So let me put that here. It gives rise to short fat shoots, 
And not only that, it also gives rise to um, lateral root growth. Another way by which Italian inhibits cell expansion is by altering is by altering the pattern of cortical microtubules. So altering the pattern of cortical microtubules and unexpanded cell walls. So cells that are yet to be expanded, this Italian alters the way they expanded. How does it do that? It changes the way by which um, the cellulose microfibers are produced in the cell walls. So let me see, cellulose. Cellulose micro fibro. These uh, microfibers consist of cellulose that is arranged in the in orthogonal layers. They are arranged in orthogonal layers in the cell wall. So what what actually happen is once we have this Italian pin produced. It alters the microfibers and this resists the normal expansion of the cell wall in all dimensions. So, for example, if we say we have a, if we have a cell, if we have an unexpanded cell this way, and you have your fibers arranged in it like this, for it to expand normally, it's going to give rise to a cell that might look this way with the microfibers so at the end of the day you have this um, normal cell which will be expanded with this um, stretchings of polysaccharide that is arranged perfectly inside them but when you have a cell that is not normal that has been affected with a CH4 CH sorry C2H4 C2H4 that is um, combining with the cell what is going to happen do you have this uh, polysaccharide that will be arranged in different ways so when they expand it's going to give rise to a cell that is not going to have uh, a perfect shape and you, you, you find out that these microtubules are arranged also in in here anyhow so instead of the cell expanding perfectly and being elongated, they are going to be uh, short and fat cell. They are going to be short. They are going to be really short. And uh, fat. But this also has some, uh, some good properties. It tends to give rise to what is known as stigmotropism. Stigmotropism. That is um, a kind of tropism that is hot plants dis display when they come into contact with a solid object, like poles. That is talking about tendrils. So you have what you have in this image over here. You realize that the tendrils are able to coil perfectly around the pole. So it helps in climbing plants having this short and fat cell that helps the plant to coil. Also, if you have um, seedlings that is germinating under rocks or yeah, and the rocks, they, they are able to crawl their way around the rock and then finally meet the sun. So another function of Italian is a promotion of senescence and leaf abscission. Senescence and leaf abscission. And also, um, when we talk about plant senescence, that is a process controlled death that plant cells initiate um, in response to environmental signals. So it is something that Italian Italian controls and the latter part of it is the leaf abscission. So what is going to happen is uh, in response to dead cells and other things, we have Italian that is being stimulated and causes uh, leaves to fall. So we have ripened leaves and that will fall. That is the function of Italian. Now there are some chemicals that inhibit Italian effects. Uh, such of this, one of these chemicals is silver thiosulfate. Uh, let me see. Um, Silver thiosulfate. 
All right, so silver tiles of it inhibits Italian effect. So there is a when you have cut flowers, they pull them into solution containing silver tiles of it, and this will help the flower to stay longer without the leaves falling off, or the or the flower petals or the sepals falling off the stalks. Okay. Another function is the promotion of fruit ripening. Promotion of fruit ripening. So let's put that here. Promotion. So um, Italian speeds up the ripening process, and the so those so-called climacteric fruits. Mm. <laughs> Climax. They include apples, apples, fruits like apple, tomatoes, tomatoes, and a lot more. And so, um, Italian is produced excessively in the in fruits that are well ripening. They are getting rotten. That's why they have the saying, the saying that one rotten apple spoils the barrel. What it means is that we have one apple in there which is getting rotten. It is going to release a lot of ethylene, which will um, in turn cause the other unripe apples to start ripening and even cause them to rot. So, for exogenous application of ethylene, it is used in the, to speed up the ripening of fruits. But how does it work? It's it was by increasing the production of cellulases. Um, let's see. Put out here. So, so we have a uh, cellulose and, uh, and this chemical, which I don't like to call the name at all, for the galacturonase. And this, what, what they do is they call the cell wall of uh, ripening fruits to soften and, and this increases the speed of ripening. Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also check our playlist for more tutorials. Thank you.